So a little bit of an Easter egg function, at least we call it that, <laughs> of CGP is the ability to export a LUT. Now, if you don't know what a LUT is, it's a lookup table. Um, for the most part, in general, a photographer who wants to export a LUT generally knows why they want to do that. But there's all kinds of different reasons and all kinds of different possibilities. However, one of the core reasons is to take your color grade or your adjustment layers, whatever they may be doing, um, and then export as a LUT, a lookup table, which then you can bring into, like, for example, a video editor, Premiere, uh, Final Cut, DaVinci. This kind of LUT creation is pretty common. Now, you can use LUTs back in Photoshop as well if you want to save these looks. They're sort of like multiple adjustment layers kind of fused together. Um, because you can have one or two or 10 or 20 and then export that. Now, there are some limitations. This is not a video, instructional video about creating lookup tables and some of the limitations on how to go about doing it. The whole point is that CGP just does it. And you don't have to worry about changing your layer stack or duplicating the file or anything like that. So if you have experience exporting LUTs, you're going to see how easy this is. So here we are. We finished our workflow in terms of cleanup and other corrective things, and, and we're good to go. We like the shot of Rafa, and we're going to work with it with CGP. So let's play around, get kind of a look, see what we feel. Maybe purple, I don't know, green. Doesn't matter what we do. This is a quick demo because I'm going to show you what happens in the, in the video editor. I'm going to go to Premiere in a minute, right? But let's say we like a look. Well, we go to our flyout menu here in the top right of CGP, export LUT. CGP handles everything. Da -da 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 Boom. Now, if you're not familiar with the export look, export lookup tables in Photoshop function, well, you know, it, it, there are videos about that. And I recommend that you look them up, but I can call them whatever. Uh, let's call it look, right? Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to leave 3DL. Grid point 64 is fine. Again, this is not a LUT instructional thing, but if you do use LUTs and you know what I'm talking about, then you'll find where you want to save it. I've already done this step. I have it here, but I want to show you. I can come and save the LUT name wherever I want, whatever my project is, my video project is, I can do that. When I'm done, even if I hit cancel, it comes right back to where I was. Now, for comparison purposes, let's go ahead and use what I've already created. I don't usually pre-do things, but in this case, I think it's kind of vital. So if I go to Rafa 01, this is actually the look that I kind of liked, right? And as you can see, it goes from this to that. Looks pretty cool. So I've exported that LUT. Let's look at the behind the scenes clip that my friend Adam did of me shooting Rafa in Los Angeles in this very spot by that staircase. Let's look at that video and apply this LUT to it. Let's go to Premiere. All right, so here we are in Premiere. And of course, there's the video clip. There's me on top of the stairs taking pictures of Rafaela. Now, what do we do um, to put a LUT in in the video editor? You know, that's going to vary quite a bit. So I'm not going to try to tell you, hey, follow these steps. If you're familiar with video, Premiere, DaVinci, Final Cut, whatever, you have your way to do it, I'm sure. But in this case, I've got my creative area here and I choose a LUT. So I'm going to go to Browse. I take the one that I made from CGP, hit Open, and there it is. I can also increase the intensity of it, which I already noticed I wanted to do. So I'm going to put it at like 140, which is great because in video editors, LUTs can do that. So there it is with our color grade. There it is, normal out of the phone. There's our color grade. And if we go back to Photoshop, we will see that, oops, let me turn on the look. There we go. Take a look at that look there. We'll show you a before and after in a second, you know, side by side. But there's the look that we got in CGP. And then in Premiere, we've applied the exact same look to behind the scenes. And sometimes that can be really cool, right? So keep that in mind. If you are familiar with exporting LUTs for video use or anything, CGP does it automatically. It sets up all your layers for you um, the way it needs to be set up for exporting, even again in the middle of a workflow. So while I was here, I have all the other layers. Let's say I didn't want to get rid of them. I didn't want to duplicate the file. CGP handles all of that when you come here. Oops, fly out menu in the top right and hit export LUT. Like I said, I recommend uh, while you're on YouTube, do some searches about lookup tables in Photoshop, see how to create them, see what the limitations are. Making them is fun. It can be very, very useful, especially if you do a lot of back and forth photo and video. It's also a great way to grade video in general. You take a still frame from your video, dump it into Photoshop, grade it with CGP, export LUT, back to your video editor. Couldn't be simpler, and that's why we, like I said, that's why we implemented it here on a, a little Easter egg function.